Good afternoon. I'm meteorologist Olga Ospina with an update on this powerful Pacific storm that continues to bring us more rain to Southern California. Currently, though, we're looking at more of that lighter rain. It's steady for some spots, though. As we take a look at Ventura County, we're seeing a little bit of wet weather, but we're also seeing some areas of dry conditions, and we could certainly use it because we've picked up quite a bit of rain already since yesterday. For a lot of us, uh, we're seeing a break in the rain and some light rain through parts of Orange County, especially as we head a little closer to the coastline, but a lot of moisture still to our north, and we've had quite a bit of activity, lightning strikes uh, for the central part of the state. We here at home also have a chance of thunderstorm activity over the next two days. Future cast showing us uh, we'll see some pockets of some moderate rain moving in as we head into later tonight, but that big fetch of intense rain starts to move in late tonight into the overnight hours, and that's going to continue still as we head into early tomorrow with some rain heavy at times across the San Gabriel Valley into parts of Orange County, spreading into the Inland Empire. If you are in the Inland Empire, Orange County, just know that if you haven't had that much rain yet, the bulk of it for you is going to be Tuesday into the early part of Wednesday. Here we go again, another round of heavy rain moving in late Tuesday into the overnight hours, and then not too bad as we head into the early part of Wednesday, but still some showers sticking around. So just know that we're looking at rain through at least the middle of the week and moderate to heavy at times. We're looking also at the risk of flooding, mudslides, and landslides. Everything is already very saturated from our past storms and now adding more inches of rain, high intensity rain, high surf along the coastline, as well as the threat of coastal flooding. So let's take a look at our flooding alerts because all of us are in danger. We have the flood watch across all areas, flood advisory for parts of uh, LA County, and then for parts of Ventura County, County, a big chunk of Ventura County were under the more dangerous flash flood warning that is until six tonight. Also for some sections of LA County, including the coastline near Malibu into Calabasas and the San Fernando Valley. As we head into Ventura, you can see a big part of that county also under that flash flood warning, which means you're getting flooding right now or the flooding is imminent. Winds also an issue with this strong storm. And once again, Ventura County as well as LA under that warning. And we're looking at that uh, continuing still with gusts in that 50, 60 mile per hour range large breaking waves along the coastline, especially for Ventura County, where we're talking about 10 to 15 footers. And we're looking at the coastal flooding, also an issue for our beaches of LA and Ventura into Santa Barbara with the greatest risk of the flooding during the morning high tide. So we saw that yesterday and then another one, another big swell moving in as we head into Tuesday. Here's a look at temperatures uh, for the next seven days. Uh, we will remain cool, although we will be drying out by Thursday. From Friday temperatures getting closer to average by the weekend. Yes, we do have some changes. Once again, I am tracking another area of low pressure that will bring us the potential for some rain late in the weekend and into early next week. For the mountains, temperatures will be in the 40s and we are looking at high elevation snow that is impacting those higher elevations. A grapevine, those mountain passes not expected to get accumulations. This is going to be mostly a a big rain event with a threat of flooding as well as landslides and mudslides. Keep it to KCAL News and we will continue updating you on this Pacific storm. Our next newscast is at 4 p.m. I'll see you then.